Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun video for you guys. I have been accumulating some empties and I thought it was the perfect time to sit down and film this video. I am filming after work, which I typically don't do. I like to film on the weekends, but I created this eye look with some matte shadows from Adept and a beautiful shade from Terra Moon Cosmetics. And it's one of their chameleon shades. That's the shimmer shade on my eyes. And I have just been like giddy all day about it. So I was like, okay, I have to film with this eye look, take advantage. And not that my empties bin was overly full, but it's getting there and I thought, New Year, let's start over, start with some fresh empties. So I wanna get rid of some of the stuff in here. So let me just show you really quick. I do love these Neutrogena wipes. I am gonna try out the makeup eraser. Um, it's one of my brands to try in 2020, but I do like these Neutrogena wipes to take off my makeup. It's my first step in my cleansing routine. And then for when I do swatches and stuff like that, I did grab these ones from Walmart. They're the Equate Beauty Makeup Remover Cleansing Tablets. And you get a ton of makeup remover wipes in here. So I like to use these because it's a better deal. These are very moist, so I don't like to use them on my face. Okay, I also love to use cotton pads to apply toner. And for that, I just buy these ones from Target. It's just the basic cotton pads. I don't know why I kept that to show you, but here it is. And then I have like a huge accumulation of like mask, sheet masks. So one of my goals in 2020 is to use them up. So I have this Dr. Jart water replenishment cotton sheet mask that I bought in a Sephora sale, I think. I have another one that I've used. This is the Sephora Rose Face Mask. I remember really liking the Sephora mask. So in case you're on the hunt for a good mask, I also finally used up this Tree Hut Shea Moisturizing Body Lotion in Coconut Lime. This scent, if you like tropical beachy scents, this is so good and they also have a body scrub in this scent. I found the Tree Hut scents are really, really good. I don't really like using body scrubs is what I've learned and I don't really like to spend a lot of money on lotions either, so I won't be repurchasing it, but it smells so good and I think you can get them at like Alta as well as Walmart, if I'm correct. And then one of my favorite face wash, this is Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser from Youth of the People. I think this is my second bottle of this face wash. I typically go through one a year and I recently replaced this one. And I like to use this as a morning cleanser. I've talked about it before. I know my friend Amy just got a sample of this in a Sephora order and she had tagged me saying she wanted to try it because I talk about this a lot. And I really like it. It's a great morning cleanser because it doesn't, it doesn't strip my skin, which is great because I usually hate like feeling like I'm already dehydrated in the morning, but it, it does clean my face. I really like the feeling. So I would recommend that. And then one of my new favorite toners, I've already repurchased this one. I have two bottles in rotation right now. One in my master bathroom as well as here in my beauty room. This is the Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. I see myself buying this for a really long time because it's one of the first toners, again, that I've found that doesn't completely strip my skin. I bought this one on the recommendation of Stephanie Nicole. This is Beauty Water by Son and Park. And I do find that that one is not as hydrating as the Laneige. I also have the Simple Micellar Water. This is the cleansing water and I really like this one as well. I use it as a toner. It's kind of like a makeup remover, but this one I find does hydrate my skin and I really enjoy it. I don't like a lot of things from Laneige, so I feel like that one's definitely a hit and I want to give it a shout out. More cotton pads. I'm not gonna show you guys cotton pads anymore. That's really dumb. Here's another sheet mask. I used this one pretty recently. It was nice. It's by the brand 111 Skin from Harley Street London Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. I never feel like facial masks or like sheet masks really do what they say they are, but whatever. Okay, again, I really hate putting lotion on, so I don't get through lotion very quickly, but this is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Almond Cocoa Yogurt and Oat and Honey 
Deep Moisture Body Milk. This is okay. I think I like fell for the cute packaging and purchased it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I think just like whatever you find at the drugstore is fine. You don't need to buy anything special. Another makeup remover bag. Okay, so I really enjoyed this. I picked this up, I think, on the recommendation of Mel Thompson. And I use this in the shower at nighttime when I'm taking a shower. I use this to remove my makeup and just it, as part of my cleansing routine. So this is the Deep Cleanse by Tatcha. And I have a backup of this, which I will put in my shower. I'm currently going through a few other products, so I don't need this right now. The only thing I really don't like about this is the packaging. It's a huge pain in the ass to get product out of here, so I wish they would do something about the packaging because it's seriously a pain in the butt. So, very proud of this one. I finished up my Juno um, oil from Sunday Riley. I was like obsessed with this oil a couple of years ago because it works so well at hydrating my face. And I don't know if my skin just got so used to this that it stopped working on me. So I was really bummed and I just panned it and finished it off because it doesn't work on me anymore. So I won't be picking that up anytime soon. I think my skin just needed a break from it. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong because I would love to find something as good for my skin as that was. But unfortunately, I had to say goodbye. I have some mascaras here, the Man Eater by Tarte, didn't think it was that great. I do like the little Pat McGrath one, but I really don't see myself purchasing a full size. I don't like the ColourPop mascaras, this is the volumizing mascara. I bought the like set with all the colors and I tried out the pink and I don't like it. So I think the other shades will probably end up in a giveaway because I don't like that formula. This is a NARS bronzer that I was attempting to pan. I considered this done, like I'm not one of those like hardcore people that's gonna like scrape it out and repress it, like that's too much work for me. This is NARS in Casino, one of my favorite bronzers. I've definitely panned this before. I would like to repurchase it, but I currently have a lot of bronzers in my makeup collection and I'm currently on a no buy for bronzers for this month and next month, so for now I'm good. So many eye products. Okay, so Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. This is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black. This is my favorite bottom lash mascara. It's a little high maintenance that I have two different high-end mascaras for literally like four hairs, but I purchased these in the Nordstrom sale when they're typically buy one, get one free. So I have those to throw away. And then I have so many like eyeliners that I just like don't like that I can't like give anyone so I'm gonna toss. So this BH liquid eyeliner I think I got for free in a BH order and I didn't like it. I'm just gonna toss this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. I really like some of the Urban Decay eyeliners but I don't like the shade Perversion. My favorite black eyeliner is the Pat McGrath eyeliner. So tossing that, I used up the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I bought these because they were inexpensive. This is in the shade Clear, but I really don't like this brow gel. I would not recommend this to you guys, so I'm so happy I panned that. And actually, I heard Tara Babies mention this brow gel, and it's actually a drugstore brow gel, and I've really been enjoying this. This is the Brow Stylist Boost and Set by L'Oreal and I really love this. This really helps me do feathered brows and it has the coolest like brush if you guys can see that which helps me get really precise. So I'm so happy I listened to her and picked this up because who doesn't love a drugstore brow product? Okay a friend gave me this forever ago and I don't know if I ever finished it but she bought the wrong color so she gave it to me. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlight in Peach Luster. This is a really nice product. It has like a brush tip as you can see there. And you can use it to highlight under your eyes and stuff like that. I thought it was nice but again I'm just over it so I am getting rid of that. Okay so two Belief products that I used up. I have the Belief True Cream Moisture Balm and the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. These are both really good products again. I just don't feel like there's enough hydration in the moisture balm for me in the winter months so I'm glad I used it up and the eye cream was good but I have a few other eye creams I'm trying out right now so I'm happy I panned those not planning on buying 
anymore anytime soon. Okay, this is another product that is just like too old to declutter to anyone. And so I'm just gonna throw this in my empties. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhance um, Cover Drop Things in the Shade Sunlight. I think Jaclyn Hill was really like selling these a few years ago and of course I fell for the hype and bought one. I actually really like the finish this gave me but it's too high maintenance for me to get a dewy look to like mix that in with my foundation blah 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 so now I just add a highlighter um, but yeah I'm happy I got to try it. I would definitely recommend it to you guys but not planning on purchasing that anytime soon. Okay, I really, really want to repurchase this. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger Medium 2, and this is so good. This one feels, I wonder if I can still use this. I decided finally like I need to declutter this because it just feels so old and crusty. This is such a good concealer, and oh my gosh, I wonder if I could, it doesn't smell funky. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time because I, it's a really pricey concealer and I really wanna buy it again. So if I have a little bit left, I might as well try it is my logic. So don't hate me for that, but girls on a budget, you know what I mean? Okay, more eye products. I really don't like the ColourPop liquid liner. I bought it in the shade numero uno just to try out don't like the brush. This is Cargo Cosmetics Pebble Beach. Terrible eyeliner. I think I got it in the Makeup by Mario Masterclass and I just never like really got rid of it. I am counting the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer as used up. I can see like a little bit of light coming through the bottom and it's really like dried out and crusty and I've had this for about a year. This is in the shade 330 and I really like this concealer so I will probably repurchase that down the line if I don't find anything else I like more. Really like the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I picked this up on recommendation of Annette's Makeup Corner. And I think Angelica mentioned that she really likes this mascara as well in a recent video. Glad I got to try that, but I still love my long comb, so won't be repurchasing that. I bought this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara in one of those, like, I'm gonna buy a ton of stuff on Wet n Wild's website. And I really didn't enjoy that, so that is getting tossed. Okay, so this is the Velour Lash Adhesive. I really like this stuff. I used it all of last year when I did people's makeup and stuff like that. It's a really good lash glue, lash glue but it's so crusty and gross. Like, look at that. So it needs to go and I need to repurchase, so that's getting tossed. Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. I really don't like the Mario Badescu sprays, so I'm glad I used that up. I think I have, maybe I don't have. I feel like I tried to use them all up, so hopefully I'm done, because I don't like them. Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara, I got a sample. Didn't think it was that revolutionary, to be honest. I'm finally just gonna throw this product away. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like their liquid dip brow in the shade Ebony. I talked about this in one of my worst like makeup fails of 2019 video. Products that made me feel like a clown. One of those videos that I did recently and said just how difficult this is to apply precisely on my brows and I hate it so much so I'm, I put it in my empties bin. I guess I kind of use my empties bin as like a declutter bin where I'm not gonna like donate or sell or give it away to somebody, so I just put it in here, which means like it's trash. Here is another mask. This is the Vital Hydra Solution Mask for deep hydration. Don't remember using that. I'm sure it was just fine. I'm gonna throw away this. This is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Electric Daisy. I didn't think this color was that great on me, and I did repurchase the shades like a bunch of shades because I bought two of their vaults for their eyeliner so I have a new version of this I will try it and see if the formula is any better if it's improved at all okay guys and then I finally counted this as panned this is the Becca highlighter in rose gold obviously there's still more but this is so old you guys I was like I can't take it anymore so I'm just gonna count that as panned and done and we're moving on I don't like this M Cosmetics eyeliner and I don't have anyone to give it to so I'm tossing it. Another ColourPop eyeliner I didn't like in the shade Zulu that I'm getting rid of. This is a little sample of the Brow Endow by Urban Decay. It was okay, I didn't really love it. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of this Lottie London AM to PM black eye pencil. It's pretty good. 
Their um, liquid liner is really, really good. So I'm going to get rid of this because, again, it doesn't beat my Pat McGrath pencil. I don't like the Marc Jacobs pencils. Um, this red one, I really, really like, but the pencil is broken. So, wow, now it's not doing anything. It's broken, so it, like, came flying out the other day when I was trying to use it. Yeah, see, it's broken. But now I'm thinking maybe I should just keep it and... I mean, it's like Marc Jacobs, and I really like this color. It's like a beautiful red shade. It's called Glam Jam. I bought it during one of the Sephora sales. Like, I don't know who I thought I was, that I had all this money to be buying, like, Marc Jacobs eyeliners, but I really liked it. So I'm going to rescue this from my empties bin and give it one more try. The black one's got to go, though. I can't do it anymore. And then I'm finally going to call this empty, and it's just... Too old to sell, like I said again. This is my Hourglass palette. This is the Ambient Light Edit palette. Oh my gosh, seeing it now makes me want to keep it. Because I haven't really made like such a big dent in it. Ah, this is hard. It's just so old. When did this come out? Like 2016? I don't think this is the original. I think this is the second one. So maybe it's 2017. But I still feel like I still have 2018 to use. So I should just throw this away. This is really hard. I'm gonna do it. I can't, I can't, I can't take it anymore. I have so much makeup. So that is everything. My empties bin is now ready to start over with a new year of empties to accumulate. And I don't know, I feel like I don't go through products very fast. So I try to just do this video when the bin is sort of full. I don't really have like a schedule for my empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this video down in the comments and I will catch you in my next video soon. Bye guys!